Hey y'all, recently I've been thinking about which Warframe is currently the worst in the game, and I've come to an interesting conclusion. It's Banshee. Thanks for watching. In all seriousness, it is not that simple. Depending on your interpretation, there are many possible answers, and I have three different answers to different interpretations of worst Warframe. And of course, this is just my opinion, and I could be missing something that could actually give these bad frames a use to just barely keep them from the number one bottom spot. There are 58 Warframes, 59 with Side 9, and I can't be a master at all of them. Only recently did I learn it was possible to crit with Slashdash, so I definitely could be missing things that could make these Warframes actually, like, not horrible. So to answer the question of which Warframe is the worst, we first need to define worst. I have three different interpretations that all have different answers. The first interpretation of worst is which Warframe is most outclassed. And the word for worst Warframe in this category goes to Loki. Now, Loki is not that bad, as I think frames like Nyx are worse, but what makes Loki the most outclassed, in my opinion, is the fact that everything Loki does, Octavia does better. Loki has two things, crowd control and invisibility. Loki has aggro draw in his one, which does work through Overguard, and the decoy is no longer made out of paper, but this ability is still bad. The best use I've seen from this ability is not putting it behind a wall or something to manipulate the enemy AI, it is actually using it on Volt with Savior Decoy and putting the decoy behind a shield. But like, Volt does not have issues with survivability, you don't need to do this. Loki's other CC is Radial Disarm, and this ability just isn't that good anymore because 1. CC is not really needed anywhere in the game, especially CC like this, and 2. It doesn't work on Overguard. Loki's only actually good ability is Invisibility. Meanwhile, Octavia not only has better crowd control, but a better invisibility ability and, you know, the rest of her kit. I cannot think of a single reason to use Loki over any other frame. I know the safeguard switch build exists, but if you're playing a frame solely to be invincible and not use any other abilities, then... I also know that you can use decoy and switch teleport to go through lasers and spy missions, but Wukong can just... I genuinely cannot think of a single use for Loki that another frame cannot do better. The next interpretation of worst is doesn't help you in the mission, and this is the hot take of the video, and the frame that helps you the least in mission, in my opinion, is Necros. Now yes, more loot is good, but that doesn't help you complete the mission. Desecrate is the only thing going for Necros, and back in the day, I would say that all of Necros' abilities other than Desecrate were actively harmful. His one is useless, I'm not even going to talk about it, but the part that makes it actively harmful is the fact that ragdolling an enemy makes them harder to kill. Terrify used to be complete dog shit, because all it did back then was just make enemies run away from you, making them harder to kill. Nowadays, this is a pretty good armor strip for other Warframes. Necros cannot capitalize on this temporary AoE armor strip because he has no nuking abilities, and even though you can just put Thermal Sunder on him for a nuke build like this, you could also just put Terrify on Gauss and do the exact same thing. Shadows of the Dead used to be bad because the shadows took up enemy spawns, but now all that does is just make some guys that don't really do anything. This ability is only good with the Augment Shield of Shadows, and even then, there are way, way better survivability abilities that don't require an Augment. Now, Desecrate is Necros' only good ability, but even then, what does it actually do other than make more loot? You get more health and energy orbs, which is nice, but energy for what? What abilities are you going to cast that need energy? because all of Necros' other abilities are kinda dog shit. Desecrate is literally just a meta more loot ability. Like, you can get more life support capsules to make up for the fact that you're playing Necros and your abilities can't help you kill, but like, literally all Necros does is give more loot, which is good outside in the meta game of farming, but is not actually good in the individual mission. The third interpretation of worst Warframe is what Warframe is overall just not worth using. And for me, the Warframe that fits this category of worst the most is Banshee. Honorable mention goes to Oberon, who I would say is its second worst in this regard, but at least Oberon can give status immunity and invincibility with Phoenix Renewal. But Banshee, on the other hand, does not have a single use. I have tried a Banshee in things that people suggest, like using her for the Gloom Stealth leveling strategy on Adaro to level weapons, but in my experience, it's both easier and faster to just take your weapons to ESO instead, especially because just like all CC abilities, Overguard exists and makes CC less reliable. The other thing I see people recommend Banshee for is killing liches, and yes, you can do this, but if you build for crits properly, you can just one-shot a lich without even needing sonar. So what all does Banshee do? 
Just like Necros, her 1 is complete dog shit and will be ignored. Her 4 has been power crept and is not worth building for at all. There are so many better nuking abilities you could use that are actually good instead of this. Now her 2 and 3 are decent, but not good in the current meta. The damage buff from Sonar is so specific and slow that it's not worth using in the current meta as most things that it would be good against are just immune to it. The only enemy type Sonar is worth using on is Liches, but I'll get back to this. Silence also is good, but the best use for Silence is to put it on any other Warframe to level them up faster with the Adaro strat. ESO might be best for leveling up weapons, but putting on Silence and running around with a big AoE weapon to abuse self multipliers is the fastest way to level up a Warframe. Silence is best used by other frames, not to use in the actual game, but simply just to level them up faster. You might think Silence is decent because it can turn off the abilities of Eximus, but it still can't stun them through their overguard, which is, you know, the point of a CC ability. Every Banshee build you will ever see uses Gloom, and that is because she needs it to not die instantly as her survivability is horrendous. The only time I ever hear people recommend Banshee is for Liches, and this is where I disagree. Citrine does Lich Hunting way better than Banshee. Her 4 not only stuns Liches, but also gives you better crits, and crits are the best way to kill Liches. If you have Citrine, there's no reason to use Banshee for anything. Banshee is most useful as food for Helminth to help you level up your actually good Warframes. So that was my take on which Warframe is worst, and if it turns out Banshee is good at something, then please let me know. I would love to hear what you guys think about my takes as well as your takes for what Warframe is the worst. I know people like these bad frames, and hell, I like bad frames! I was one of three people to like Caliban before his rework. And at a game as stupid as Warframe, you can make bad things like Loki and Banshee work, and I've done it before, and it's, it's fun to optimize garbage. So... That's all for me. I would love to hear what you think in the comments, and while you're down there, do the YouTube things. It would really help me out.